Hello everyone, this is Dell Latitude E7440. Recently I got issue with the keyboard. The keyboard physically looks everything is fine when I tap, it's okay. But what happens is when I press single time, it uh, brings twice, okay? So today we're gonna replace it. I got the replacement from uh, eBay. That's the replacement as you can see. It comes with the backlit, which is one of the great option. Okay, so first what are you gonna do? We're gonna turn this off. Make sure turned off and we'll flip it. Take out the battery, that's the first thing. Okay, so once the battery is removed, then what you can do, we can disconnect this flex, which is that one. That is the actual keyboard flex. And also it does come with the backlit, which is that one. We can remove this as well. So once it's done, what you can do, we can open it up. And then we need to remove the actual plastic bezel, which is around the uh, keyboard. So you can start from anywhere. Try to spudge it for our side, and then it's gonna make kind of click noise. As you can see, it's coming out. Slowly, slowly. It's fine. Okay. Almost done. So that's the plastic bezel. You need it later on. And that is the actual keyboard. The keyboard does have few screws. At the front, we can see four screws. One of them missing. But that's not going to help. One. Two. Three and four. Now let's try to remove it and see if it comes out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so before we pull this keyboard, we need to check if all the flex separated, I mean removed correctly. And then still, if you pull it, it's not going to come out. As you can see, there is one reason. I'll show you why. Because can you see the three click button, the right and left? Yeah? We have to take this out with removing single screw. Otherwise, the keyboard would not come out. That was the common mistake everybody does, so please keep in your mind. So now, if you pull this out, then the keyboard would be free to take out without any issue. All right, as you can see, this is came out very easily. Nothing wrong physically, but it's very sensitive. When I click once, it goes twice. So now, make sure you take the new one, and then it should be inserted right here. They are a little bit tricky because the gap is too small, okay, and there is a tape pre-attached. I have to take this out first before I put it in. So make sure if you have the new replacement, double check if the flex does have same security tap on it. Otherwise, if you keep pushing, it's not going to go in. So it seems it's going in, but at the same time, we have to push both of them which is kind of tricky, but let's check what you can do. So, one is gone, one is going in, and then the another one. We can't take all the way out, okay, that's fine. And then the second one, sometimes you need to play your mind and find out. Okay, so, put it like this. Now it's going back. At the same time, we can't be forgetting the buttons, you know. That is also most important. It seems like everything in the position. Now, we're going to take this right and left one. And this is the hole where the flex goes in. As soon as you put this one, don't forget to put back the screws, okay. It's going in. There is another one, 
right and left now this place is secure and should be fine so now we're going to put another four screws on the top and then the keyboard would be firm and into the position okay. and to change or replace the keyboard you just need only one tool which is the Phillips screwdriver you don't need anything else except the flat opening tool and the Phillips one so one by one we're going to put four of them and then the plastic bezel would go on the top it would be absolutely fine okay now this is the time to connect the flex first of all the fat one keyboard on or might be we can put the right and left button be careful because the actual latch made from plastic which is very fragile easy to break and that big one make sure it's all the way in you can see when you push it in it's going to be labeled in the right and left you're going to see the same border the blue one actually so it's going in and once you see it's all the way in then the back lid once this is into the position as you can see the white mark make sure this is properly fitted and then push this in and then two screws should be under the battery okay so let's take all the screws I think I forgot the screw but that's okay one of them missing anyway now we're gonna check we're gonna test it this is turning on let it run it says press F1 something when I press F1 it seems the keyboard was working which is absolutely fine and now we're gonna wait until turn on properly backlight is working battery is low now let's open up Microsoft Word just to type a hey. all right everything is working let's type all of them so I'm gonna try a brown fox jumps quickly over the lazy dog this sentence does have every single letters from A to Z and the number also tapping correctly 0 to 9 and trackpad also fine so now we are good to go I'm going to turn this off and once it turned off I'm going to put the plastic bezel so first the bottom side like that you just need to click it it's like a crunching sound once you click from bottom to the top it's going to be fine so that's how we replace the keyboard for Dell Latitude E7440. It's quite simple. It takes a little bit of time because few steps you need to follow the procedure. Let me know how did you like it. Still, if you do have any question regarding this model, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.